For centuries, in the Mexican peninsula of Yucatan, Mayan beekeepers have been using natural methods to harvest honey from the forest. Now, with a fast-growing interest for organic products in the international market, this ancient tradition could be like liquid gold to some of the poorest and most isolated communities in the region. We have been working organically for about five years now, and we realize that it's almost like our ancestors did. In rural Mexico, where 40% of the population live on just a few dollars a day, Don Faustino Mai Kamal has been scratching at a living as a beekeeper for most of his life. At first, we were producing conventional honey, but it wasn't paying enough. Prices were too low. Then Don Faustino and others realized there were some similarities between their production methods and those certified as organic, and how much more money they stood to earn if they could make the switch. Making the switch from conventional to organic agricultural production is now believed to be one of the greatest hopes for reducing poverty among small farmers in poor rural communities around the world. A recent study by the Office of Evaluation of IFAD shows that organic honey from Yucatan has been sold for prices up to 45% higher than conventional honey. However, in order to access these markets, farmers have to get organized into groups. One single person cannot go to sell their honey in Spain. It's only as a group that we can provide the tonnage that they ask for. So we founded an association called Chilan Kabob. The members of Chilan Kabob, which means ancient bees in Mayan, travel daily into the deep forest. Bees travel far and wide to collect pollen, so in order for the honey to be certified organic, they mustn't come in contact with any pollutants, and hives have to be at least three kilometers from any house or road. Ironically, some of the conditions that contribute to rural poverty, such as distance from urban centers and lack of technology, in this case, actually prove to be positive prerequisites for organic production. What makes organic agriculture interesting for us is that, for once, small farmers living in remote areas under harsh conditions where underemployment and migration are high have an opportunity to turn liabilities into assets. They have a comparative advantage for not having spoiled their environment and having preserved their traditional values. Don Faustino and his group collect honey in the forest, as their Mayan ancestors have done for millennia. But still, the switch to organic production does require some modern techniques, such as the use of stainless steel equipment to extract the honey. Buying new knives and centrifuges is expensive, and again, being in a group is crucial. If we don't have the resources to buy the equipment we need to work organically, we can ask the treasurer to give us what we need and he recoups the money when we bring in the product. Being in a group is not only beneficial for sharing the costs of organic conversion, but also for negotiating a fair price for the product. In the past, honey producers were at the mercy of unscrupulous traders who took the lion's share of the proceeds. Now, the Chilan Kebab group pay their members directly upon delivery. And when prices are low, store oversupply until they improve. With some financial assistance from the UN agency IFAD, the group constructed a storage facility and processing plant, which checks to ensure all members meet standards for organic certification. Conventional producers also come in to sell their honey and to inquire about converting to organic methods. Benito Patno is president of Chilan Kebab. At the moment, we have 182 members who are organic producers. There are another 500 beekeepers who bring us conventional honey to store and sell, but most of them are now converting to organic production. 
This year, Don Faustino and his group have produced over 25 tons of organic honey, which will end up on supermarket shelves in Europe. A small step, perhaps, but one which promises a brighter future for these Mayan farmers.